I think we wanted to start off with you guys sharing what what you're doing at the moment and this, you know these two the the status of you guys and then Aubrey what's left from here. So you want to start with Mike? Okay. Um, I currently live in the Washington D.C. area, which is why what has enabled me to be so active with SLDN um, in the repeal effort over these past few years. Uh, currently, I'm working as a defense contractor in the Washington area in uh, IT work, similar to what I did in the military. Uh, that's not my passion. Uh, my passion is to get back in the Air Force, and um, I'm currently in the process of doing that. Um, I'm one of the one of three plaintiffs in a court case that has been filed through SLDN along with um, the law firm of Morrison and Forrester, who has very graciously um, taken it on pro bono. Also the same firm that represented Vic with his legal battles. Um, we have a date with the judge mid-October, but we're also currently in, um, in discussions right now, um, settlement, discussion, dis settlement discussions which I cannot um, really talk about right now as far as the sensitivities of that, but that's, that's about all I can say on that. Um, I expect a favorable outcome, and I greatly look forward to getting back in the military at some point in the near future and resuming my career as an officer and a leader in the Air Force. Well, that, as uh, one of Mike's lawyers, I, w I would characterize it as sensitive negotiations. Uh, we are actually very hopeful uh, that Mike and the other two service members uh, in this legal challenge uh, will be reinstated. And this is a key word. Uh, Mike and the other two uh, service members are looking to be reinstated to their old jobs, the jobs that they held when they were discharged wrongfully under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Uh, Hopefully, uh, if the uh, negotiations uh, continue to go in the right direction, uh, they could be reinstated uh, in a relatively short period of time. We're at a critical stage there, and we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but there, there's some big issues to be negotiated. And this goes beyond Mike and the other two service members. What we're trying to establish here is a pathway for other service members who were discharged <coughs> under Don't Ask, Don't Tell, who want to be reinstated, who want their old jobs back, to be able to come in and short order. Uh, and for, for some of them, time is really <coughs> critical. Uh, for them to come back in, they have to meet all of the current requirements, age, physical, job uh, skills, etc. So that's the only thing your attorney wanted to add on that. <laughs>